Hey friends, I'm Mateo, this is Misha, and we are the Global Expats. So three weeks has passed since our last travel update, and the same question still remains. When can we travel again? So we are back to give you the latest travel updates for Europe, the UK, and the USA. So, let's fly straight into Europe. If you guys saw our last COVID update video, we spoke about vaccine passports and the mixed feelings on whether or not they should be implemented. But just this week, the EU vaccine chief has come out and said that come mid-June, vaccine passports will be available across Europe. And he even unveiled a prototype for what they would look like electronically and on paper. And as we've mentioned before, it seems that the main three things on this vaccine passport will be your individual stats on your COVID situation. So whether or not you've had COVID and recovered, if you've had the vaccine, and if you haven't had the vaccine, what your COVID test results were before you flew to your destination. But this will make sure that everybody is keeping to the health standards of getting tested so that things can start opening up again, but nobody will be discriminated against for not having had the vaccine. However, with the vaccine passport reaching a more developed stage, there are some countries that are still taking a major hit. France has just entered into another intense four-week lockdown. Italy has extended its lockdown until the end of April, and Germany will remain in lockdown anywhere from the middle of April until the end of April. The EU hopes to reach herd immunity by mid-July, which really does sound promising. It does. Now, moving on to the land of bangers and mash, the UK. Just a few days ago, Boris Johnson said he is hoping that the UK can relaunch foreign travel on May 17. Since our last update, nothing much has changed with the border restrictions in the UK because you're only allowed to go in and out for a handful of permitted reasons. The UK has introduced a traffic light system for travel destinations. So red, amber, and green, according to the virus risk level. This new system will help ensure that the UK's vaccine progress isn't jeopardized and provide clear guidance for travelers. Currently, if you are allowed to travel to the UK, you're gonna have to quarantine for 10 days in a hotel off a list the government provides at your own expense, which can cost roughly around 2,000 pounds, if not more. And since the UK is no longer a part of the EU, they are also working on their own version of their vaccine passports, but said they're trying to work through practical and ethical issues. But some good news, the government announced earlier this week that each citizen in the UK can receive two free rapid COVID tests per week. So May 17 is only six weeks away, so let's hope travel to the UK will be open and ready to go. Moving on to the land of opportunity, but not for everyone, America. So the latest news coming out of the US this week is that the Easter Bunny did see his shadow this past weekend, which means there are six more weeks of lockdown. Just kidding, everything's open, no mask mandates. It's a reference to Groundhog Day. We don't get that outside of America. President Biden is looking at the middle of May to hopefully reopen the borders to Mexico, Canada, Europe, the UK, and Brazil. The US is hoping to vaccinate enough people by May that they are able to restore the travel process again. Fully vaccinated people in the US can travel without quarantining, but are still advised not to because of the high COVID cases nationwide. So mid-May is looking like the light at the end of the tunnel for Europe, the UK, and the US. It's that time. The fun fact you didn't know you needed. So apparently, back in 2006, someone tried to sell New Zealand on eBay. A man from Brisbane, Australia, put New Zealand up for sale, listing it as the dodgiest American Cup winner ever, and said it has very ordinary weather. The starting bid was one cent, and after 6,000 hits and 22 bids, the auction price reached $3,000. eBay quickly caught wind of this auction and pulled it from their site, claiming that New Zealand was clearly not for sale. Things you didn't know. Leave us a comment below and let us know where is the first place you're gonna travel to when the world opens up again? And if you're looking for more travel related content, be sure to click on one of the videos over here. And remember to click the subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any travel updates.